A ventration of diaphragm. What is a ventration of diaphragm during development? If there is abnormal development of muscles of diaphragm, in which, instead of having normal musculature, all or a part of diaphragm is replaced by a thin layer of connective tissue, this leads to weakness in that abnormal part of diaphragm. That part would not be able to maintain its tone and will balloon upwards into thoracic cavity. This is called a diaphragmatic pouch. Pathophysiology. Normally, during development of diaphragm, after fusion of all components of diaphragm, the muscular tissue from the lateral body walls extends to reach the pleuroperitoneal membrane of diaphragm. If the muscular tissue from the lateral body walls does not reach the pleuroperitoneal membranes, then that part of diaphragm will mature without having normal muscular layer of ventration versus diaphragmatic hernia. First, we will discuss eventration. The figure shows eventration of the left part of diaphragm. The herniated abdominal organs did not cross the diaphragm to enter the thoracic cavity. In fact, they are beneath the intact diaphragm. Due to herniation of diaphragm along with viscera into thoracic cavity, there is decreased space in thorax, thus causing compression of especially left lung and shifting of mediastinum to the right. Now, we will talk about diaphragmatic hernia. The figure shows left diaphragmatic hernia. Abdominal organs do cross the diaphragm through the foramen of botched leg to enter the thoracic cavity. The diaphragm does not herniate into thoracic cavity. Its clinical presentation may simulate eventration because due to herniation of organs, there is again, compression of left lung and shifting of mediastinum to the right.